Cancun, Playa del Carmen, and Tulum. These popular beach destinations in Mexico are all located on the same Caribbean seashore in the Yucatan Peninsula. But are they worth visiting, and should you choose just one or visit them all? I did all the research so you don't have to. And of course, I visited each of these beautiful places just for this video. Today we'll discover all the most important things there's to know about this trio of holiday destinations, so that you can easily decide what's the best option for you. Welcome to my ultimate travel guide. Cancun, a world-renowned tourist destination, is situated on the northeast coast of the Yucatan Peninsula in the Mexican state of Quintana Roo. It's easily accessible by air with the Cancun International Airport being one of the busiest in the Caribbean and offering numerous international flights. Cancun enjoys a tropical climate with consistent warm weather year-round. The best time to visit is from December to April, as is the case for all three of these destinations. During this time, the weather is dry and sunny. This is also the peak tourist season. May to November is the rainy season with occasional showers and a higher possibility of hurricanes, particularly from August to October. Initially a small fishing town, Cancun was developed into a tourist destination in the 1970s by the Mexican government. Despite its relatively recent development, the region is rich in Mayan history, evident in its nearby archaeological sites which we'll talk about soon. The city blends Mexican culture with international influences, evident in its culinary, music, and art scenes. Cancun is famed for its stunning Caribbean beaches with crystal clear turquoise waters and white sandy shores. The city part that's popular for tourists is located on a 13 mile or 22 kilometer long L-shaped island, bordered by the Caribbean Sea and the Nishupte Lagoon, offering plenty of water activities and natural beauty. As a hub for tourists, Cancun boasts modern amenities including world-class hotels, resorts, shopping centers, and a vibrant nightlife. The Hotel Zone, or Zona Hotelera, is a long beachfront strip of high-rise hotels, nightclubs, shops, and restaurants. Cancun is generally considered safe for tourists, especially in the well-trafficked hotel zone. Public transportation is easily accessible, with buses and taxis being the most convenient options for tourists. Renting a car is also an option for those who wish to explore beyond the city. The cuisine in Cancun is a mix of traditional Mexican flavors and international culinary influences. Seafood is a staple, given its coastal location, and visitors can enjoy a range of dishes from upscale dining to local street food. Now you might be wondering what are the best things to do in Cancun. Here are my recommendations. Visit the Mayan ruins of Chichen Itza. No trip to Cancun is complete without a day trip to Chichen Itza, one of the new seven wonders of the world. This ancient Mayan city is famous for its magnificent pyramid, El Castillo. Explore the Underwater Museum. Dive or snorkel at the Cancun Underwater Museum, which features over 500 life-sized sculptures submerged underwater, creating a unique intersection of art and marine life. Relax on the beaches. Spend a day lounging on Cancun's pristine beaches such as Playa Delfines and Playa Tortugas. Enjoy the sun, sand, and surf on these picturesque Caribbean shores. Experience cenote swimming. Take a dip in one of the Yucatan Peninsula's famous cenotes, which are natural sinkholes filled with fresh water, like cenote Iquil, offering a unique swimming experience. Enjoy water sports. Engage in various water sports such as jet skiing, parasailing, and windsurfing available along Cancun's beaches for an adrenaline-filled day. Take a catamaran trip to Isla Mujeres. Sail to the beautiful Isla Mujeres on a catamaran. Relax on the beach, snorkel in the clear waters, or explore the island's charming streets. Experience Cancun's vibrant nightlife at famous clubs like Coco Bongo and The City known for their spectacular shows and lively atmosphere. Go shopping at La Isla Shopping Village. 
This open-air shopping center offers a range of international and local brands, dining options, and entertainment, set alongside scenic waterways and bridges. Explore the El Rey Archaeological Zone. Discover the El Rey Mayan ruins located in the hotel zone, offering a glimpse into the ancient Mayan civilization amidst iguanas sunbathing on the ruins. Embark on a jungle tour, navigating through mangrove channels on a speedboat and snorkeling at Punta Nizuc, part of the Mesoamerican Barrier Reef. Bird watching in Isla Contoy. Take a guided tour to Isla Contoy, a national park and bird sanctuary, where you can observe various bird species in their natural habitat. Enjoy a Mexican cooking class. Learn to prepare traditional Mexican dishes in a cooking class, a fun way to immerse yourself in the local culture and cuisine. Cancun offers a rich blend of cultural, historical, and natural attractions, ensuring that every visitor finds something to enjoy, whether it's exploring ancient ruins, enjoying the vibrant nightlife, or simply relaxing on its stunning beaches. Cancun can be done on a relatively small budget, but if you're looking for luxury, here are my recommendations for resorts to stay at. Kempinski Hotel Cancun represents luxury in every sense. This elegant resort situated along the white sands of the Caribbean Sea is known for its impeccable service, refined elegance, and tranquil ambiance. The resort features tastefully decorated rooms and suites, most of which offer breathtaking ocean views. Each room is equipped with modern amenities to ensure a comfortable and luxurious stay. The Blanc Spa Resort in Cancun is an adults-only, all-inclusive resort that redefines luxury and comfort. Known for its minimalist and elegant design, the resort offers an intimate and serene atmosphere perfect for couples or anyone looking to escape the bustle of everyday life. The rooms are sophisticated and feature contemporary decor, whirlpool tubs, and balconies with stunning views. Both resorts are exceptional choices for luxury accommodations in Cancun, offering a blend of comfort, elegance, and personalized service, ensuring an unforgettable stay in this tropical paradise. Links are in the video description. Cancun is obviously a very popular destination, so for some it might be too touristy. But I still liked it and can recommend it. Before moving on, make sure you're subscribed to my channel for more travel videos. Click the like button too if you've enjoyed the video so far. Playa del Carmen While Cancun has been the most popular destination for quite a while, many now think Playa del Carmen is catching up or even overtaking Cancun as the best place to be. But is it really that good? Let's find out. Playa del Carmen is easily accessible from Cancun's airport, which is about an hour's drive away. Once a sleepy fishing village, Playa del Carmen has transformed into a vibrant cosmopolitan town. It seamlessly blends Mexican charm with European influences, reflected in its diverse culinary scene, shopping, and nightlife. The town is famous for its stunning beaches with crystal clear turquoise waters and powdery white sand. Playa del Carmen's coastline and nearby Cozumel Island offer excellent opportunities for snorkeling and scuba diving. Playa del Carmen is a versatile destination combining the allure of its beaches and natural beauty with rich cultural experiences, making it a popular choice for travelers seeking a blend of relaxation, adventure, and cultural immersion. But what is there to do in Playa del Carmen? Here are the best things that I can recommend. Stroll along Quinta Avenida, also known as the Fifth Avenue. Explore this vibrant pedestrian street that is the heart of Playa del Carmen, lined with shops, restaurants, cafes, and bars, it's perfect for shopping, dining, and people watching. Relax on Playa del Carmen's beaches. Of course, spending time on the beautiful beaches such as Playa Mamitas and Playa Car is a must. These beaches are known for their clear waters, soft white sand, and beach clubs. Visit Excarite Park. Explore this eco-archaeological park where you can swim in underground rivers, watch cultural performances, and learn about Mayan history and the region's biodiversity. Snorkel or dive in cenotes. Discover the natural beauty of cenotes, 
Unique natural sinkholes filled with fresh water, ideal for snorkeling and diving. Cenote dos Ojos and Gran Cenote are popular choices. A day trip to Cozumel, take a ferry to the island of Cozumel, renowned for its superb snorkeling and scuba diving spots, vibrant marine life, and relaxed island atmosphere. Enjoy water sports. Engage in water sports like kite surfing, paddle boarding, and jet skiing, available at various points along Playa del Carmen's beaches. Experience the nightlife. Enjoy the lively nightlife scene with a variety of bars and clubs offering everything from laid-back beach vibes to high-energy dance floors. Go deep sea fishing. Embark on a deep sea fishing adventure off the coast of Playa del Carmen, where you can catch species like marlin, sailfish, and mahi-mahi. Shop at local markets. Visit local markets like Mercado Playa del Carmen 23 for authentic Mexican crafts, textiles, and souvenirs. Yoga on the beach. Join a beach yoga class for a serene experience, combining relaxation and physical activity with stunning ocean views. These activities in Playa del Carmen offer a mix of relaxation, adventure, cultural experiences, and natural beauty, catering to a wide range of interests and ensuring a memorable visit. Playa del Carmen too offers some fantastic luxury resorts. Here are two that I can recommend. Banyan Tree Mayacoba. Nestled within the private gated integrated resort development, this is a luxurious sanctuary blending Asian hospitality with the idyllic passion of Mexico. The resort offers secluded villas, each with its own private pool, set amidst lush mangroves and lagoons, offering serene water views and a sense of exclusive tranquility. Rosewood Mayacoba is an exclusive luxury resort situated along the Riviera Maya. This resort stands out for its harmonious blend of natural beauty and refined modernity. Its suites and villas are thoughtfully designed to merge with the surrounding landscapes, featuring private plunge pools, rooftop sun decks, and garden showers, all complementing the area's natural beauty. Both Banyan Tree and Rosewood Mayacoba offer unparalleled luxury, exceptional service, and unique experiences, making them perfect for those seeking an exclusive and indulgent stay in Playa del Carmen. You'll find the links to these resorts in the video description. Besides these two resorts, I have to mention the gated community area of Playa Car. This area has many resorts and also private villas to choose from. At the center of it all is a golf course. There's even a small shopping mall with everything you need inside the private community. And I have to say, this is one of the nicest places I've been to. Playa del Carmen is for those who think Cancun might be too touristy for them. Playa del Carmen is definitely popular for tourists too, but it has a more authentic feeling to it in my opinion. Tulum. This small town has recently gained rapid popularity. If you've been on social media the past couple of years, you've probably seen many of your favorite social media influencers and friends visiting Tulum. But is there a reason for that? Or is it just another trendy place that people visit just because other people did the same? There's a new international airport being built in Tulum, scheduled to be opened soon in 2024. So depending on when you watch this video, check if you can fly directly before booking your flights. If not, it's about a 90 minute drive from Cancun's airport, so not too bad. Tulum is renowned for its well-preserved Mayan ruins, which are perched atop a cliff overlooking the stunning Caribbean Sea. This archeological site offers a glimpse into the ancient Mayan civilization and is one of the few walled cities built by the Maya. Apart from its historical allure, Tulum, like Cancun and Playa del Carmen, is also famous for its breathtaking beaches. The town is surrounded by lush jungles, cenotes, and a vibrant coral reef, offering plenty of opportunities for exploration and adventure. Tulum has this unique laid-back vibe with a strong focus on sustainability and ecotourism. I think that's why it's so popular right now. 
The town is filled with bohemian-style boutique hotels, yoga retreats, and wellness centers, catering to those seeking a tranquil and rejuvenating experience. The culinary scene in Tulum is also diverse, offering everything from traditional Mexican food to international cuisine. The town has a lively but relaxed nightlife, with beach clubs, bars, and restaurants offering a range of experiences from casual to upscale. Tulum also boasts a growing art and cultural scene, with local artisan markets, art galleries, and cultural festivals throughout the year, reflecting the town's artistic and eclectic community. While Tulum might have less things to do than Cancun and Playa del Carmen, there's still many things you can experience during your trip. And here are the activities that I can recommend. Visit the Tulum Ruins. Explore the iconic Tulum archeological site, a former Mayan port city perched on a cliff overlooking the Caribbean Sea. The ruins offer a glimpse into ancient Mayan civilization and stunning sea views. Relax on Tulum's beaches. Spend a day at Tulum's pristine beaches like Playa Paraiso and Playa Ruinas. These beaches are known for their clear turquoise waters, soft white sand, and scenic views, making them perfect for relaxation and swimming. Swim in cenotes. Discover the enchanting cenotes around Tulum, such as Grand Cenote and Cenote dos Ojos. These natural sinkholes are ideal for swimming, snorkeling, and diving. Explore Xinkaan Biosphere Reserve. Visit this UNESCO World Heritage Site, a natural reserve that offers lush landscapes, diverse wildlife, and opportunities for birdwatching, kayaking, and exploring untouched beaches. Participate in a yoga or wellness retreat. Tulum is renowned for its holistic and spiritual environment, offering various programs focused on health, wellness, and yoga. Bike around Tulum. Rent a bike and explore the town's charming streets, beaches, and nearby attractions at your own pace. Visit the Koba Ruins. Take a day trip to the nearby ancient Mayan city of Koba. Here, you're actually allowed to climb the Nohoch Mole Pyramid, the tallest in the Yucatan Peninsula, for panoramic jungle views. It's way harder than it looks at first. Attend a beach party. Experience Tulum's vibrant nightlife, which includes beach parties, live music events, and drum circles, especially during the full moon. Participate in a Temescal ceremony. Experience a traditional Temescal steam bath ceremony, a ritual used for physical and spiritual healing in Mexican culture. Tulum offers a unique combination of archaeological heritage, natural beauty, and a tranquil yet vibrant atmosphere making it a destination with activities to suit every type of traveler. The resorts in Tulum are smaller and often built to be more eco-friendly than in Cancun and Playa del Carmen. You don't find massive developments here. Here's a couple cool resorts that I can recommend. Azulik Tulum is a luxury eco-friendly resort known for its unique architecture and commitment to sustainability. Nestled within the Mayan jungle and along the pristine beaches of Tulum, this adults-only resort offers a serene and intimate escape. The villas are artistically crafted from local materials and designed to blend harmoniously with the surrounding nature, providing an immersive experience. B Tulum Hotel is a boutique luxury resort located in the heart of Tulum's hotel zone, offering a blend of rustic charm and modern sophistication. This beachfront resort is designed for relaxation and tranquility, with a focus on minimalist design and natural materials. Each suite is elegantly furnished, offering private pools or jacuzzis and modern amenities while retaining a connection to the natural surroundings. Both of these resorts offer exclusive and luxurious experiences, combining the natural beauty of Tulum with comfort, elegance, and a touch of local culture making them ideal for travelers seeking a high-end, authentic experience. If you are interested in them, the links to all the resorts in this video are in the description. Now back to my original question, is Tulum overrated or not? Well, I guess that depends on your expectations. I did like Tulum, though there was a lot of construction going on as it's an upcoming place, so that was a bit annoying at times. There's quite a bit happening in Tulum as well, but it also has many quiet areas if that's your preference. 
Tulum is definitely way smaller than Cancun and Playa del Carmen. So if you're looking for that small beach town vibe, Tulum could be a good option. All three of these destinations are located close by to each other. A great travel option could be first flying to Cancun, renting a car from the airport, and then spending at least a few nights in each of these cities. Splitting your time between Cancun and Playa del Carmen, and then doing a day trip to Tulum could be a good idea too. Whatever you decide, I hope this video helped you in some way. If it did, a click on that like button and also a subscription to my channel would be appreciated. Do you plan to visit Mexico soon? Or if you have already visited any of these destinations, share your experiences in the comments to help others plan their own trip. Thanks for watching, enjoy your travels, and see you on the next video.